Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. I've got a bunch of stuff to unbox and I'll, I'll kind of talk to you real quick about why this video is going to be much larger and kind of also different. So I got this 6x6 from Chi Yi and I didn't actually do uh, an unboxing of it because it's a budget non-magnetic 6x6 and I didn't really feel like I had much to say about that kind of a puzzle. And then I got the 7x7 and so I did a video on this that wasn't released. I was in the middle of editing it and it's a really good 7x7. So I'll actually go to some of the clips right here. So back in a second. My estimate is this is going to be under 20 bucks and or at least very, very, very close to that. Definitely something if you want, if you're on a budget and you just want to get into a big cube, it's definitely not a bad one to get at all. I, when I started, there were no magnets in big cubes and even when magnets got going, people weren't using them. So, so yeah, I think that's what I have to say about it. It's a really good performing seven by seven. Like I feel like I wish I can go back in time and just show someone this, that this is the, this is the budget end and this would be, this would blow the mini Shangsha out of the water, which is what everyone was using back then. Okay, so as you see, it's a decent puzzle. It, it works really well. Um, I don't know the exact price right now. I don't, well, at least at this very moment, it's not out to purchase, but for a really budget seven by seven, it's really good. So I'm expecting this six by six to pretty much be the exact same thing. And yeah, it turns exceptionally well. I'm a little sluggish on the inner layers right now, but it, I just took it out of the packaging. But it's super fast and smooth. And so if someone wants one of these puzzles, like a 6x6 or 7x7, doesn't want to spend a lot of money, doesn't worry so much about magnets, just wants to get into it, these are fantastic. Um, but again, this is sort of the extent of that video. However, I got two packages. <laughs> I don't know what that face was. I got two packages. These are both from Chi Yi. They've been examined by the US Customs and Border Protection. One of them is two mats. That was weird to say. So I'm gonna just open these mats up and put these mats down on top of mine. Ooh. One of them, I I need to back my camera up. This is crazy. Can I just do this? Okay, so I'm just going to do that. So this is a mat. It's got the sort of rounded edges. This is for a, a timer to attach to. I didn't get any buttons with mine, um, but it's just a really nice design. Whenever you we have these mats, I like something that's a little more calm, not something super crazy. So you can see on mine that I made, I designed this one. It's fairly calm. There's some design back here. And I have this in the lower corner here, my symbol up here, but it's or my logo symbol. Um, but it's fairly straightforward. I like these colors. These are really nice colors. Ooh. Okay, and here's another one. And flash stacking. Now that's obviously not cubing, but I'm I'm curious what flash stacking is. If that's cheese version of the sort of cup stacking stuff. I like this other one. This this is kind of cool too. It's still pretty basic, but it has a nice design there. So likely these will be able to, um, you know, be purchased from places like Speed Cube Shop. Okay, so we've got the seven by seven. We've got the six by six. Uh, let me know if you actually prefer this wide angle lens. You can see more, my camera doesn't have to be really far away, but it can be a little warped. So let me know if you like this or you don't like it. Well, let's see, or two by two. And I think this is gonna be the four by four. Yes. They, yeah, Chi has been updating their budget line. That's their non-magnetic line. A lot of companies are going towards a magnetic budget line. Oh, this feels tiny. Uh, I need something to compare this to. Okay, so the Volk is 60 millimeters and, oh my God, wait, this is smaller than the Volk, I think. What is all, all that packaging? Is it the same or is it smaller? This is exciting. Let's get up my caliper. Just to double check, the Volk, well, I thought it was 60 millimeters, but it's actually like 59 and a half ish. And this one is just about right at 59, even a little less. Nice. Okay, so that's going to compete kind of like with what the Maylong is. Let's check some of these other sizes real quick. About, you know, 49 and a half, probably considered 50. Okay. And 
six by six. I don't even know really what standard here, 64, 67. Let's check these two out. I gotta move a cable real quick. This is kind of in the way. That helps a little bit. Okay, so for two by two, two by two is one of those puzzles that I like magnets in mine. I think um, I just prefer that clicky sound, but a lot of people just feel two by two doesn't need any magnets. These tensions are quite tight at the moment, but this flows really great. So this is c being called Chi D version two. Well, I don't read Chinese, but the Chi D I feel like is probably the one of the nicest, if not the nicest, non-magnetic budget two by twos. When it came out, there was a lot of people who were considering just using it as a main over any other one. This one's really tight, but it has a similar flow to it, even at this tight tensions. So let's loosen it just a little bit. Oh, uh, I, I never remember this H perm. Yeah, that was right. Interesting. Or not H perm. Is that considered H perm? No, it's not. Nope. Yeah, this flows really well. This is something that if somebody just wanted the most budget 2x2 two two to get into it, definitely recommend this one. Kind of like the 6 and 7. It just flows. I could probably get similar times on this with practicing it. So I think I'm going to end up having, okay, I know the OL I'm going to have. And then I want to look at the four by four. Okay, a bit slow. Let's, let's break this in. I'm going to do a solver two. Four by four Aside from FMC, 4x4 is my favorite event. I love doing 4x4. It just feels like it has enough variety where you... It always takes a bit of effort. There, there's not a ton of just, oh, skip this and skip that. Uh, it always takes a lot of thinking. And I don't know if this, this feels a bit tight. So I'm going to loosen this slightly as well. But I'm not going to add lubrication. So I don't add lubrication to what I guess people would consider budget puzzles because I have I consider that if someone is purchasing a puzzle at this range, they're not going to worry so much about the lubrication. Okay, this is very loose. Hopefully, it's not too loose at all. I'm hearing a little click on one side. Yeah, that's very loose. Actually, I'm going to do like a quarter turn back. I think that is good. Let's see here. Red's a good start. We're just gonna scramble this. We're gonna keep scrambling this up. Pretend I didn't do a full solve. Okay, I just had a, some really bad edge pairing. Paired the wrong things. So uh, we're gonna pretend I didn't just do half a solve. I love the size of this. It's a really good size. And I'm fairly sure this will be stickered and stickerless. It wouldn't make sense for them to do stickerless for these and then stickered for the 4x4. Blue seems like the best start here. And look behind the camera while doing this. Not always the best of luck. Come on, there we go. Where's that piece? There we go. This 
So yeah, the outer layers feel a bit loose right now. I'm gonna tighten that up. Do another solve. Because those are catching a bit at the moment. Wait, what did I do there? Oh, missed the, the piece. Okay. PLL, and then Uperm. Okay, yes, yeah, tighten just a little bit more. Let's do another scramble. So yeah, the this is the tensions that they came out of the box, and I'm back at those. It looks pretty tight, but it actually flows a little bit nicer that way. Orange is a good start. There, we can see some catching on this outer layer. Wait, what am I doing? There we go. Slowing down on these edges. Parody. Art perm. Oh, that was a weird re grip. Okay. So I'm getting, still getting a little bit of, of catching, but um, I'm, I feel like it's. It almost feels like flashing, which you don't see too much anymore. It feels like something that will break in as you use it. But I love the size. It's about 59 millimeters. It's really nice and, and smooth. It's fairly stable too, so it doesn't feel too flexible. I might be a bit guilty right now of uh, being in the, well, you know, that puzzle is $60, but I'm not spending $60 on it. Uh, that wasn't the case before, as <laughs> when I was purchasing everything. So I figured about cost of some things and, and you know, the these are really good puzzles and i'm sure there'll be a collection as well coming out so besides just getting one you get like the four pack of the two three four and five or the like four five six and seven or whatever those are because i often do those and definitely a good starting kit so if you're looking at getting like a gift for people i've done this for some other people where i get them a collection uh, a couple people i've just sent them boxes of of a few puzzles that are friends of mine and just to get them started with stuff. So if you guys are watching this too, write down in the comment section below. If not watching, why are you not watching my videos? <laughs> Anyways, thank you Chigi. Yeah, the mats are really nice. This is my favorite. I'll be using this quite a lot for sure. I definitely have to look at that uh, cup stacking company, the, the flash stacking. But the, yeah, the, the mat is, is fantastic. So I'm rambling a little bit on this, but I, I wanted to show all of this to you and not just put this aside and make a 7x7 video that's like a few minutes long. And let me know if you have any questions on these. Certainly these could be magnetized. Uh, let me check this 4x4. Four four. I mean, there's probably going to be space between these pieces. Come on, there we go. Oh yeah, definite space between the pieces. So if you want to magnetize it, I've magnetized a bunch of two by twos, three, four, and five. I've never done a six and a seven. For the four by four, you just need double the amount of magnets, so 96. And this one would probably be fantastic magnetized. Um, the two by two, I always like that magnetic feel to it as well. So thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as always, stop by speedkeepyview.com for more news and reviews.